Hello everyone, it's all about FIA. Today I would like to show you the problem of the three dimension simply supported beam. Here is our beam. The beam will be supported in the two places, the point A and the point B. And point A is the pin support, the point B is the roll support. We also got the two forces, the force one uh, and the force two. We got the uh, moment. The value of the force 1 is the 80 newtons downward, the value of the force 2 is 300 newtons upward. We also got the moment of the value of the uh, 10,000 newton millimeters. Here are, the, here are the properties of our beam. It's 100 millimeters, 75 millimeters and also 75 millimeters. The um, uh, material properties, uh, the Young's models is the value of, of the 210,000 megapascals, the uh, Poisson ratio has the value of the 0 0.3 uh, the cross section of, of our beam is 10 millimeters on 5 millimeters and what is our task? Our task is to designate the reaction forces in the value of the reaction forces in the point A and the point B the value of the maximum deflection of our beam and the maximum stress uh, in our beam. Okay, that's that's for for the start. That's all for the start. Let's go to the answers. First, first of all, we're going to define our material properties. To do this, let's go to engineering data. Data. Let's create our steel. Okay, go to isotropic elasticity. Uh, the Young's model changed to megapascals. The value it was. 210,000 uh, 10, uh, 210, uh, 10, megapascals and uh, the Poisson ratio was the 0 0.3 okay and that's all for the material properties we can close the engineering data let's go to geometry uh, right click new design uh, model geometry here we, we are going to sketch our beam we're going to slice in the three parts so we, we will be able to uh, defi define our boundary, co boundary condition and the forces okay here is the design modeler first of all we have to change the units from the meter to millimeter to do this we're going to units millimeter and we are ready to sketch our beam to do this let's click the XY plane new sketch let's uh, fit our our uh, look our uh, sketch plane let's go to sketching create the rectang rectangle because the cross section of our uh, beam is rectangle 10 millimeters on 5 millimeters let's let's uh, sketch it uh, something like that go to dimension general going to a little bit zoom in first second the third and the fourth dimension the first one is the five millimeter and two and the five and the next one is uh, five and ten okay here is the cross section of our beam now we have to extrude our our beam to do this let's go to extrude we have to uh, choose our uh, sketch so it's already chosen go to apply the uh, length of our full length of our beam is 250 millimeters okay let's a little bit zoom out and generate our beam here is our beam but to it's not over it over it uh, we have to slice our beam in the three par to par uh, in, into the three parts to define our boundary condition. The part one is the length of the 100 millimeters. The part two is the 75 millimeters, and the part three is also the 75 millimeters. To do this, the uh, slicing of our beam we can do this in the few ways. We can do this by the sketch. We can do this by the plane, uh, and I believe it's. Uh, some other method but we're going to do this by the plane because it's really easy and it's really fast to do this we have to create our new plane 
the name of the new plane will be plane 4 it's it's going to type from the plane and the base plane will be xy plane now we have to transform it in the offset of the z direction in the value of 100 millimeters generate okay here is our new plane now we have to create the next plane let's go again to uh, uh, plane 5, we're going to create it from the base plane uh, we previously created, the, which is plane 4, and again offset in the z direction and the 75 millimeters. Okay, generate. Here is our uh, two created planes. Now we have to slice our body through by these planes. To do this, we go to create, slice. We, the base plane will be uh, plane B and slice targets all bodies because we got only one body so generate like you see we've got uh, two parts and two bodies two parts and two bodies now we have to slice again the, the second part of this body to do this we go to again slice and uh, base plane will be plane 5 apply generate and like you see we've got three parts one two three one two three okay uh, but like you see we've got three parts and three bodies we we want to have the three parts but one body to change this we are going to select all the solid bodies right click and form a new part like you see now we've got one part and three bodies that's what we wanted and that's all for the uh, design modeler we can close it close design model now we're going to model in the model we're going to um, define our boundary condition define our forces our moment we're going to define our material we're going to uh, check the reaction forces the deflection of the beam and the stresses uh, we're going to check how they uh, change with the um, mesh, with the refining the mesh. Okay, here is our beam. First of all, what we're going to do is to uh, define our uh, material for this part. To do this, we geometry part, change the uh, default material to our custom material that is the steel. Okay, that's so. Let's create our uh, default mesh. Okay, here is our default mesh, and let's define our boundary condition. To do this, let's create the first of the forces. Okay, let's create it on the edge because the first force was the on the start of the beam. Okay, here. We're going to change the vector to components because it's much easier to define the um, uh, value of the forces and the d directions. Like you see, it's downward, so it's minus 80 newtons. Now we're going to define the force 2 in this edge. Apply again, change to components 300 newtons upward. OK now we're going to define our uh, bending uh, our moment to do this we're going to insert moment we're going to do this on the plane that slice our uh, that's between our two bo uh, two parts to do this we have to go to change it to uh, uh, plane we're going to geometry like you see, we've got three planes. We're going to choose the correct one. And this is this is the one. Okay. Again, let's do this by the components. We want to let, let it rotate by the uh, x direction, and it's 10,000 millimeters. It's clockwise, so it's plus. And that's all for the forces. Now let's define our boundary condition. To do this, let's go to insert, remote displacement choose our uh, our edge apply okay and the first support is the pin support so it won't let it move in the uh, x y and z direction 
it won't uh, rotate in the y and z direction but it will rotate in the x direction so x y z is going to be zero and rotation by the y and the z direction is also be a zero uh, what's going to be next let's define our second boundary condition and to do this let's go to remote displacement and the end of the beam apply the second one is the roll support so it will move in the um, in the z direction but it won't let it move we, we won't let it move in the y direction and the x direction so x direction will be zero uh, y direction also zero uh, we'll let it m uh, move in the z so the z component will be free uh, x, x rotation will also be free and the y and z will be zero okay and that's all for the for the for the boundary condition now let's check first of all we're going to check what are the uh, reaction forces let's go to insert probe force reaction and the remote displacement which is the point A support let's go again the probe force reaction in the remote displacement 2 which is the support in point B and let's uh, solve our beam let's see what will be the value of the reaction forces it will take a while okay here we are uh, reaction forces in the point uh, A is the minus uh, 83 newtons and the uh, reaction force in the point uh, B is minus uh, 136 newtons downward I made some analytical calculations to check if the reaction forces are the same for the analytical and the for the uh, finite element analysis are the same. So let's see how the calculation look like looks like. Like you see, the value of the reaction forces in the point B by the analytical uh, calculation is uh, 83 uh, newtons, which is the same for the uh, for the answers and the reaction force in the point B is 136 newtons which is also the same like I said 136 newtons and 83 newtons now we're going to check if the uh, maximum deflection is the same and the maximum stress of, the, of our beam is also the same to do this let's go again to solution insert stress equivalent von Mises stress let's go to uh, uh, again deformation directional and change it to y direction okay let's evaluate our results mm, uh, let's go first for the uh, deflection of our beam maximum deflection of our beam is uh, minus uh, 1.31 uh, 1 millimeters it's really small difference for the analytical calculation because the it's 1.27 millimeters it's really small and okay let's go check how's the uh, how's the um, stresses the analytical stress is 243 megapascals let's see how it looks like for the uh, our analysis it's 238 uh, megapascals it's a really small difference but we can make it even smaller by refining the mesh let's let's refine our mesh one time for for the practice let's change the reveal center from the course to the maybe medium revealance let's change to 100 okay uh, here is our mesh let's generate new mesh okay it's much finer and let's solve again our problem let's see how the uh, deflection will change and the um, stresses will change like I said the forces are the same so so it's the same for the refi refine uh, for the finer mesh and let's check how's the direction directional deformation it changed a little 
no it's uh, even won't change it didn't change it's still 1.31 uh, millimeters and the equivalent von Mises stress is one, uh, 246 millimeters which only which is only a difference of the 3 megapascal which is really small uh, which is very small like you see refining still refining the mesh will lead us to the uh, value of the forces that we calculate so for the to the uh, 233 uh, megapascals and for the deflection it will lead us to 1.27 millimeters but it will take computing time to uh, if we are going to refine our mesh so so it we won't do this in this uh, video um, uh, as the consideration of this video I would like to say that the simulation in which the results differ only by less than the 5% in the relation to the uh, calculations we can treat as a very good simulation, simulation which is uh, our example so um, that's all for this video I hope you liked it in the next video I would like to uh, maybe do the video about you finding the mesh around the, some edges, around some corners and, uh, and s the topic of this, uh, the next video would be the refining of the our mesh if you like this video please subscribe just leave the comment below if you have got any question uh, just ask and that's all for now thank you very much let's see you in the next video bye